abino in my, our country. They are killing abino, abino in our country because they can't kill us at a time. They will force and remove our blood because if they drink the blood, our blood, they will not have the spiritual power. Understand? Mm -hmm. So that is why the time I was born, I don't know my father, I don't know, because my father died during the time of war in, in Uganda. Mm -hmm. And my mother also. And the person take me and keep me in a, in a compound for me to take care of the dogs inside the compound. And he didn't allow me to go outside. The man, only that the man helped me to give me food and he protect me, not the country to kill me. Along the line, when the time I know that uh, maybe I don't have father, one man is always be coming that place and buying dogs. The man normally tell me that this is not my father, and this place is not my place in my house. That my father died. The only thing is that the man normally introduced me that if I come outside, they will kill me. But along the line. The man have children, and their children is going to go in school. I didn't, it didn't allow me to go. I only to feed the dogs along the compound, along the line. Get only woman that come that place and lie. I say what I'm suffering every day. The man tell me that I'm supposed to leave this place, and for me to stay this country, they will kill me. If I reach age age of 18 years, they will kill me. <clears throat> Along the line, I asked the man, what did I do? What shall I do to leave this place? He tell me that if I can be able to leave in the night to jump the fence and call, he be able to help me for me to leave that place. In the night, I take the risk and jump out, jump out to the compound. And the man take me. He, come, he, he, he takes some blood for my body. He just take me to hospital and take some blood. He helped me and give me something like an ID card for me to travel. And he give me some people, some people in that country. He gave some people that enter and take people inside the boot of car and take them to Morocco. For them to take route and go to Morocco. Because the man tell me if I reach Morocco, I'm be okay. Me, I'm always staying inside the boot. I didn't see it out. Because it put me inside the boot. If you want to give me food, you not and keep me inside the bush because we are entered the desert. He give me some bread for me to eat, drink. And London I we spend almost a month before we reach Morocco. And when we reach Morocco, along the line, one day the man tell me that if I go to Nado, I will go to Nado and try to go enter you know, the time of summer. Around August 2010, August 29th, the man gave me money and put me for motor. I go to Nado. When I reach Nado, he tell me if I if I enter water swimming, I will be, be. and when I reach that Nado, I see many blacks, many people are entering water and they swim the water and they see rich more uh, manager. For that inside, what God provided me, I reach and enter Spain. It makes me every day crying, every day and night because I entered this place and it didn't leave me to go up, only to stay inside the camp. All people that follow that follow me swimming and enter this place have a land, they have peninsula. I'm crying every day. The problem is that somebody that you first enter, you will stay. The person will not go out, take step and say and go, I still be here. And in the asylum, I have hold asylum one year and six months. They can't give me the result. They can't collect the asylum and give me ordinary service for me to live. They just give me, keep me for this camp. I don't know the problem. They have renewed the asylum three times. I go to police station, they now renew. I tell them that this asylum is, I didn't see the result. I don't want to take it again. They will tell me that I must surely take it. I'm thinking, what happened to my side? For me to stay this place is not good for me. If they don't want to give me paper, 
Let them kill me. I have got to stay this place and see me. This is happening. It's not good to my side. I'm thinking every day. The condition of myself. Sometimes I'm asking God, what happened to my side? What brought me to this side? Is it the color that makes me to be here? What happened? I'm here. All blacks are living. Going to Peninsula. I'm still be here. What happened to my side? My future is that anything that God gives me, I can go up. God provided me at least if I get a job that I can work and get some money, enable me to maintain myself, to be free. Before you see, I've been here, it's hard. If I stay with blacks, people in Uganda, they don't allow me to stay with them. When I come, they beat me, this, doing this, doing this. They don't allow me to stay with them. Understand? They want to kill me. They have shoot, push me. You know, somebody is maybe only one in in state. Call it like that. Only if you look at your color, others are blacks, you are whites. And they didn't allow me to stay with them. You know? It's the, it's the God. Because it's not made by man, it's made by God that makes me to be this color or in this form. Because anything God do is the best for any human being or any person in this world. Because it's God that created everything in this world. It's not my man. Sometimes I'm asking, sometimes if I pray, I'm asking God, what happened to my side? What brought me to this place? I'm staying with people in different color. My color is different. What happened? Sometimes I'm also asking God, 